between it Tripping while I'm slipping, busy fighting all these demons Listen while I'm spitting, bark, you probably won't believe it But like you... doing live visuals for his band Neon Indian, and we became really good friends. Alan is really into film, and we would talk a lot about filmmaking. He was always talking about writing scripts, and I told him to come up with something we could do in 3D animation. The original idea for Osmo was to do a 9-part series. MOCA ended up funding the first part, which is the only one as of now. So Alan started working on the script and I started developing the visuals. a lot of notes. Usually I'll start from a script, or just a list of scenes and ideas. But yeah, I tend to not do any actual visual development until I'm inside Maya. A lot of my aesthetic is very primitive 3D, so I like working in the program directly instead of starting from the drawing. I will use reference photos, and sometimes very specific ones. Part of my process is doing things very efficiently and quickly. I like to be able to improvise when animating and texturing, so I leave a lot of room for that in my process. And how much does it have to do with your own experimentation versus your visual references? Experimentation is super important. My pre-production process is basically all experimenting, and trying to find something that gets me excited. Like I said before, I tend to do this entirely inside of Maya. I'll have some idea for the story, and then just build a few test scenes. I'll go all the way through to final compositing with a few short scenes. What are your references? I really love early CGI. I feel like that stuff is a lot more imaginative than today's CGI. It was before everything sort of focused into specific aesthetics. Nowadays, most 3D animation looks the same. I'm also a huge fan of fringe animators, like Aljar now, Georges Schwizdravel, David Daniels, there are a lot of people making really inspiring work right now too. Lastly, can you tell me about 
all the techniques you use. There's a lot I could talk about here. I'm a big fan of doing as many things as I can procedurally in Maya. I write a lot of scripts and build weird rigs and dynamic systems to speed up workflows. I used to use a lot of analog post-processing after rendering the animations. A lot of feedback, video synth, switcher effects, etc. Now I've figured out some pretty awesome ways to emulate those effects digitally, so I'm doing less and less of that. The biggest thing for me, though, is to make the process as efficient as possible. Most of my techniques come from a place of trying to get as much work done in as quick a time possible, while still having a rich visual look. For the most part, I make all these videos myself, so I've developed techniques that let me work rapidly, and I try to find ways to make the limitations work for the video instead of against it.